Benedict Matherin in his last four, averaging 22 points per game. And a young starting lineup as they've got three more games remaining. And the Knicks have it. They've won the first two games in the series. Got to read. He's in trouble. When, when he got to the basket or just before he got to the basket, he was in trouble. That's one of the shots I think he's got to make because he can get in the paint. It happened too. That's why it's blocked. Emmanuel quickly in the starting lineup. He's been so good off the bench this year for the Knicks. Robinson scores. That battling in there too. He knocked him right on the arm. The official missed it. And now Neesmith the other way. 4-3. In, Give out, and in. Yep, let it go. And Matherin missed it. Rebounded by Quentin Grimes. Got to get to him. Got to get to quick. IQ quickly. Try to take advantage of that, you know, to the best of their ability. Tyrese, you embraced it from day one when the trade was made well over a year ago to not only lead on the floor but off the floor as well. How is that going for you in Salt Lake City? Oh, man, it was, it was so surreal. Like, just to be in the locker room with the guys, be around guys that I've looked up to. Uh, you know, just to be there and experience that. Uh, obviously, I had the elbow stuff, and I've just been battling some different stuff throughout the year. So, trying to play as many games as possible and be healthy and, uh, you know, just trying to stay together as a group. So, you had the McConnell-York backcourt at one point. What's it, what's it like playing with TJ? Oh, man. <laughs> Me and TJ are so close. We sit together on the, on the plane. Uh, he's just nonstop joking around, messing around. Uh, you know, I have to listen to what he says because of how good he was defensively in his, in his prime and what he's done here in the past. Uh, you know, back when he faced the, the Eastern Conference Finals every year. Here's Garland. And I was like, man, just being a good talk after the game because I was talking to Luke. I was just like, man, I cannot wait to see, watch y'all see what it's in there because I just think it's going to be good bump. Uh, going, I'll probably spend my weekends, if I'm not on vacation, I'll go uh, watch. I got a my boys' team on the AU side and my girls' team. Yes. There goes New York, right on cue. Uh, we've done a lot of switching in this year, so uh, try to as much as possible. As much as possible. Out of Houston, second year. That's Quentin Grimes, who's tracked down by Jackson. Gotta get back. Um, yeah, I can see that coming. If, if Toppin is running, they're lobbing. Gabe York for a third three. Well, I'm telling you, and it's pure. It's leaving his hand, and you can see it's got a chance to go in. You have to get a body on, on Sims because that's he, he jumps well. Fournier and Hertenstein. He at one point wanted to be traded. Yeah, he and Derrick Rose out of the rotation. They've gone with the young guards, and that's a dunk from Jalen Smith. Oh, got him. Brissett challenges Sims and scores. And Smith just has to take a stronger position. Ooh. Ooh. And there was like a little hesitation and go at the end of the first quarter. They've got 44, so they've scored six in six minutes. Well, so much for that. It was a 30 to 12 run, tipped away by Neesmith. But Laura can't complete the pass to Matherin. And Grimes hits his 4-3. That's a tough pass. That's four blocks for Mitchell Robinson. And an 8-0 New York run. Yeah, but the Pacers got to realize you got to keep playing. Carters need to match that physicality. Well, and then it's just, this is what the interview that I had with, with that, Chris, that's what I was saying with Tyreek. Yeah. Is what you, this is what you're going to play again. Just way around the ball. Quickly to Toppin for three. Obi Toppin, the New York native. Most teams keep three point guards because you inevitably have one of them go down. And if the Pacers are able to do that with these three, they got a pretty good group of point guards. Toppin had just hit one from there, misses. Now Neesmith. Here's a three over top and it's perfect. That's confidence there. That is confidence. He's slippery as well. Boy, he and Tyrese Maxey, teammates in Kentucky, have had great careers early on with the Knicks and the 76ers. That's a little saga Kentucky action there. Topping again for three. 
during the first quarter. How do you know you're going to be on social media? I've already seen it. You've seen it? I've seen it. You sat here and watched that thing on total? you you got to be kidding I've me. not watched the quarter. I just saw the post. I just saw the post. And, the, and, and one of the posts was, as here's a steal, Grimes the other way, lays it in. They, they replayed on Twitter, and you had a choice. You could Jordan. wear any color you want. Man in Jordan. Okay. Yeah, I mean, let's not... You know, let's not complicate it. Let's right? not complicate. Score off the bench, and he's he's a load. He's a load, and he, he can handle the ball. And here it is, uh, two more for quickly. And that's been it. It's been all Nick since. Matherin baseline drive up under. Pacers have the lead. That's just the bomb move that he's gained over the years uh, to the young Butler players. Yeah, great to see him back in Indianapolis as. Great to see him in basketball, too. He yes. belongs in there. Next week, the play-in tournament in both the East and the West, 7 through 10. Top it. What a shot. He's had two of them do that. Hart right down the middle, lobs it up. Robinson throws it down. Well, you can't run alongside. Josh Hart, that's what he does. He's a good rebounder at the wing position. Quickly inside scores. He's got 30. The postseason, they missed it last year. They were a part of the postseason two years ago. But it's really been slim pickings over the years. And that's a three by McConnell. The championship. And I think he'd been on another team that had been close to that. I and mean, he, he goes in the second round. Top it. Yeah, well, he got fouled too. Pacers led 82-80 with 6.37 to play in the quarter. And Rob. now it's been a big New York run. I, I, I can see that. If, if Toppin is running, they're lobbing to him. Because he, he, he prefers it. McConnell the steal. Two seconds. Out of count. T.J. McConnell with the steal in. and the basket. They're 46 and 33. 23 and 16 on the road. McConnell count it. And one, he is rolling. McConnell going to work again. Ooh, got him. He got him there. He gave him a head fake. And it's been all Pacers since. Brissett drives inside, and he scores. What Dave York has got to learn, particularly at his size, because he's only about 6'4", is you've got to find a way to attack. Buddy, off the dribble, killing Fournier. Matherin back in, seven minutes to play. Heald has it blocked, fifth block by Robinson. Yeah, Robinson is really long. And then it's blocked Rob by Heald. <laughs> Robinson was on the floor laughing. <laughs> After that, because Buddy got his block. Pacers did not get the rebound. Yeah, that, okay, I'll take it back. Quickly. They got the three. And sometimes the bad free throw shooters, here's Nemhard with a left hand. Sometimes those bounce a little different, don't they? <laughs> Reach in by Grimes, shot clock is going down. Up ahead to Toppin, throws it down. I like it. Nimhard challenges. Boy, you don't want to do that. And here's Toppin again. Well, you can see this. He can run. DNA, culture, and, and team. Flying by Matherin. Grimes. And the lead is seven. Yeah, you're going to have to have some def defensive discipline, though. They won a three-point game here in December, 109-106. Step back three, quickly. 39 for quickly. Like Mitchell Robinson blocked shots, they switched that and put it. Yeah, they switched that and made it really hard. And Grimes dunks it home. Yeah, this is the last time out for Rick with a minute to go. Add to the plot and get it in. Yeah, he's been out ah. with illness, and that's a steal. Grimes. And that's going to put it away for the Knicks. Yeah. And that will do it on this Wednesday night. Knicks with their third win against the Pacers. These teams will see each other again Sunday, the final regular season game.